Hey everybody, this is kind of a different video than I usually make uh, about guitars and stuff. This is about a mushroom that grows pretty prolifically in my yard. It comes out and flushes and then it'll disappear and then it'll come back every time I'm going to get rain. Uh, but I'm, I'm an avid mushroom enthusiast and I like going out and gathering wild mushrooms. And this is one that's kind of got a... Uh, not a good reputation. It's edible, but a lot of people say it's not worthwhile. It's called the Ash Bolete. Let me see if I can get a close up here. Anyway, it's kind of some of them grow unusually shaped. Uh, the uh, stem is always kind of to one side, it'll be cut in uh, on one side usually. Sometimes, they're, like I said, they're oddball shaped. See if I can find one that's kind of odd. Here's an odd one that's got a snail all over it. But, uh, like I said, the, a lot of people say they're not worth eating, they don't taste good, and when I first got them last year, I, uh, I tried them, and one guy said they were pretty decent. You can see them coming up in the grass. I'm actually going to show you something that I cut. I, you can see where I cut one right there. They'll stain a little bit blue when you cut them see a little bit of blue stain in there uh and i followed the recipe a guy said that it was actually pretty good he sliced them up and fried them like bacon with a little seasoning and i tried that and i wasn't impressed so i just put some back and dried them out uh last year and then later got them out here's a little cluster of them got them out and like i said i'm gonna cut one where you can see the bottom but i got them out and uh after drying them out, I put them in back in the freezer, and I got them out several months later and reconstituted them with a, a little butter and uh, and uh, uh, soy sauce in a skillet. Heated them up until they were soft and tried them, and they were actually really good. So uh, anyway, that's what I did with them, and I'm gonna cut one to let you get a good look at the the gills and the coloring of them. As you can see, the top. Uh, it's kind of a, a liver brown, but uh, they're actually actually pretty a pretty tasty mushroom. Let me cut one here and let you see the structure here. See if I can get it over here, get it in focus. See how the gills are kind of welled? They're usually bright yellow underneath. And where I cut that stem, if you'll look, it'll start turning here in a little bit. It'll start turning slightly blue. I don't know if you can see in this lens or not, but uh, they'll start turning slightly blue. I've got some that I've already cut that might have already turned. So let me, let me get the, one of those out here. See if we can see where it's turned. They don't. They don't usually turn a real dark blue. Oh yeah, here's one. But they'll just slightly turn blue, and they'll start bruising too. You can see where I've handled this just the fingerprints. But the the web structure of the gills is really, really neat. And like I said, when you cut them, they're usually yellow, bright yellow underneath. With kind of a you can see the kind of oddball shape of this and the way the stem is off centered to one side they don't look very appetizing but they're actually pretty good so anyway i just wanted to to uh make a video and and uh because you don't see many many videos about about this mushroom like i said it's got a bad reputation but it's actually pretty good if you dry it out and then uh, just I just put them in a little in a skillet with a little butter and uh, season them with a little soy, and uh, they were actually pretty good. So anyway, thank you for watching.